Whether you're winning like a high roller or losing like a chump, you'll want to keep your eye on this before your next trip to the slots or the tables. What happens in Vegas usually stays in Vegas, but the hubs got the scoop on some of the details that made their way out of the hidden back rooms and smoky alleys of these gambling havens. Here are your 10 biggest secrets casinos don't want you to know. If you want to go on a winning streak, hit the subscribe button to find more videos on the hub. Slot Machines Casinos place slot machines in the most convenient locations for them. The slots that take the most money from you without giving you much back in return are usually placed in the most trafficked areas, the central points of interest to where people flock, the entrances, and the exits. The slots that will probably yield you the most bang for your buck have the least bells and whistles and are usually saddled in the back of the casino. This means those machines with the Star Wars or Game of Thrones theme and the video cutscenes on their top of the line screen will likely not give you back many credits. These machines already have your attention because of their pop cultural appeal, so casinos don't feel the need to reward you as much for knockoff slot in the corner of the smoking section. So do some research online before your next trip to Atlantic City just to see what brand of slot seemed to be the most trap-like. And while smart gamblers would agree that slow and steady would win you most of the clams, most slot machines are actually designed to pay out more for max bets. So next time you find yourself sitting in the front of a blinking money-making machine, go all in for only a few rounds and you'll have a better chance of winning. Security. Casinos have mastered the art of subtle surveillance. Cameras, embedded security, and undercover cops are everywhere. The Bellagio and Treasure Island employ top-of-the-line facial recognition technology. Even if you're just a tourist wandering through the game rooms, your every move is likely being tracked. While there aren't enough security staff to scrutinize each step in detail, an average of 2,000 cameras track the patrons in every public corner, and attention is especially paid toward those who win big in an unusual way. If casino authorities catch a card counter in the act, he will be let off the property. According to Vegas security expert Jeff Jonas, the casino would often retaliate against cheaters by roughing them up and maybe popping a kneecap or two, but he did say those were back in the old, old days. With sensors on every door, ATM machines, slot machines, and gambling device, casinos will tail the high rollers who make the big winnings, even if they haven't told anyone their identity. Due to tax and liability reasons, they need to know who's winning big and they'll usually find a way to follow you, even after you've left the casino. At least, if you've won a couple million bucks at their expense. Staff. Dealers are much more than just cogs in the machine. They're people too, and they usually make more than 80% of their earnings on tips. Dealing is basically considered a high-end service industry job, and starting out, they'll generally be making minimum wage. So the next time you place a bet at the table, save a portion to reward your dealer in your next win. The good dealers show a bit of personality through their professional demeanor, and when an anonymous casino worker hosted a Reddit AMA, they said that dealers should root for you when you're winning and empathize when you lose. Still, they can't get too comfortable. Dealer uniforms come without pockets, waistbands, or other hiding places, so don't look to collaborate with a dealer on your next heist. And as for the free drinks, yes, cocktails Cocktail waitresses wander the casino floors with trays of free drinks, but their income comes from the tips as well. And if they're not making anything off of you, they'll likely hover around winners with a generous tipping hand. Plus, those free drinks are generally watered down, so it will take more than your usual amount of liquor to find your happy place. Gaming Chances Table games will often allow you to strategize and think for your earnings. Your best chances could be had at the blackjack table where, in many cases, the house just has 1% edge over you. It's easy to play if you're just starting out. You can find a less busy time during the afternoon and take a seat at an empty table. Craps can offer you a second best advantage with 50-50 chances of winning. Yes, there's a lot of boxes on that table, but at the end of the day, you're simply betting on the roll of the dice. So try not to get intimidated. And although Baccarat sounds fancy and you never see a bunch of blue-collar sitcom dads sitting around a table for Baccarat night, it's great for novices and many casinos have $5 minimums. So you can learn the game. A banker and a player draw cards and you bet on whoever will end up closer to nine. House odds tend to max out at 1.24% on the banker or player bets. But if you're going to do yourself any favors, avoid Keno as odds are incredibly stacked against you. And it's basically a way for you to send a direct deposit back to the casino. Layout. For business, entertainment, and security reasons, the layout of casinos are mulled over and meticulously arranged. As we've said before, the slots that make the most money for the casino and the least for you are placed in the most prominent locations. Less significant objects like clocks are often harder to spot, and in most establishments, the windows aren't anywhere near the bedding areas. The unnatural light, with the warm glow intended to match the comfort of your living room, is pumping at the same brightness 24-7, giving you the impression that time is standing still. This works to the advantage of the casino, because it tends 
tends to keep you at the machines or the tables longer than you originally intended. While pulling out your cell phone to check the time is usually a no-no when playing your hand at a table, it's probably helpful to wear a watch so you don't lose track of time. Outside of these simple tactics, casinos have long been rumored to pump oxygen through their vents to keep the patrons awake and excited while spending their cash. Going even further, some video slots have even been known to flash subliminal jackpot messages for mere fractions of a second, keeping the players at the machines long after the luck dries out. Entertainment Contrary to popular belief, the world's oldest profession is not legal within Las Vegas city limits. Still, that hasn't stopped it from being a prominent underground business in that area. And Sin City has found many other ways to attract the attention of gamblers and tourists. Many casinos have party pits, an area that mixes the after-hours entertainment with table games as dancers move to the music over a game of poker. If you're ever inclined to check out these areas, you should know that they generally have a much smaller payout. Places like The D, Binion's, and Golden Gate are employing sexy dealers with revealing clothing and flirtatious personas to keep you playing long after your financial wells run dry. The payouts often change for many of these places too. Instead of a 3 to 2 payout, you'll get a 6 to 5 payout, which is more of a loss than it sounds. Dennis Conrad, the CEO of Raven Gaming, a casino consultancy firm, helped create the earliest Vegas party pits in the 1980s, and he doesn't see the downsides. You're gonna lose your money anyway, he says. You might as well lose it to a good looking girl with Zeppelin playing in the background. Card counting. Even though many people think otherwise, card counting is still perfectly legal. But in order to get really good at it, you need to train your eyes and your counting skills so as to not get caught. And statistically speaking, only the really good ones make a return on their investment. And we mean really, really good ones. There's only about 100 professional level counters worldwide. And even then, they only grab a 1.5% advantage over the house. To the experienced gambler, every percentage point of advantage helps. But if you're just flying in and out of Vegas for a weekend, try a simpler trick. Look for the the smaller dealers. To the keen-eyed player, a less experienced dealer can accidentally reveal the face-down card in a game of blackjack for a split second. Professional card counter Bill Zender went around to 16 major casinos and noted 35 clumsy dealers. From there, he was able to exploit the system and gain an advantage of up to 9%. His practice, which was perfectly legal, may have gotten his name blacklisted from certain casinos, but he couldn't be detained. Comps Casinos offer free stuff all the time, at least to the people who think they're worth their time. So if you're feeling up, you might as well ask to have your room comp, or at least get a ticket to the buffet. The guest services rep at the front desk might say no, but they might say yes too. Many of these casinos belong to large resort chains, and they're looking to provide you with a good time so you keep coming back and bring your friends along for the ride. And if you do think a bunch more return trips are in your future, it couldn't hurt to join a rewards program. Perks like lounge access, extra food and drinks, and room upgrades often come with these memberships. On the other hand, hosts are always looking for ways to comp high rolling guests, and they'll often look at hotel guest credit lines as a marker of who's putting the most moolah into their gambling. But an unnamed casino host revealed to the Las Vegas Sun that credit lines can be deceiving. Sometimes guests will open big $50,000 credit lines to get a complimentary luxury suite and then end up only playing small hands. When gambling with cards or with comps, you have to play smart and strategize. Free drinks. We've said it before, the free drinks are usually watered down versions of what you'd order at your average bar. Plus, the waitresses tend to offer free refreshments in the sections of play with the worst odds. But there may soon come a time where this amenity is a thing of the past. Caesars and MGM have rolled out a new prototype strategy in which they just offer complimentary beverages only to those who are spending big on their games. Initially, Caesars' plan was just rolled out on video poker machines, in which a light in the back of the machine would turn green once players anteed up a minimum amount. When the indicator turned green, bartenders would fill or refill the drinks. MGM, on the other hand, employs machines that print drink vouchers after a minimum amount of time has been spent on the machine. And a free drink is automatically poured the minute someone inserts their cash into a machine. But one thing that is no longer free around the MGM casino is the parking, which was reported to the LA Times to become a charged service in 2016. At the time, Caesar still kept free parking for cars, motorcycles, and we assume chariots. Gambling Addicts Gambling addictions are among the most destructive ailments around, but it's much harder to detect because the symptoms aren't necessarily physical in nature. The most addicted have been known to wager their life savings, alienate their loved ones, and even stroll around the casinos in diapers so that not even a bathroom break can pull them away from their gameplay. After being classified as a compulsion for years, the American Psychiatric Association classified this disorder as an addiction, rationalizing the decision behind the fact that addicted gamblers, like drug addicts, need bigger and bigger hits or bets to feel the same buzz. 
Some gamblers opt to go cold turkey, and in moments of rational thought, they reach out to the casinos to have themselves banned for certain periods of time. Even if you ban yourself for life, you'll have a hard time getting yourself back on the invite list. So in the event a gambler does choose to permanently exclude themselves from specific casinos, they can always spend their newly minted free time in recovery programs like Gamblers Anonymous. Still, it's been calculated that over 80% of addicts don't reach out for help, and of the less than 20% who do, three quarters of those people will return to gambling. Unfortunately, recovering gambling addicts don't have the best odds. Now you're aware of the 10 biggest secrets casinos don't want you to know. Hopefully these will help you win your next hand or at least steer clear of the bad vibes. The hub will always be here with a full house of videos to keep your spirits up even if your bank account is down. See you again soon.